are we kidding? What year is it? That's what I was most mad about. And another, like another thing I'll bring up to the mix. Hello Slayers. Today I'm shedding the summertime sadness. I've been having a rough couple summers. Last year losing my grandma, and this year unfortunately losing my dog Dublin. I'm really due for a good summer romance. I want to start romanticizing my life. It's something I've been thinking about a lot lately. How I've spent so much time longing for things instead of living them. So here I am, driving to the beach to watch the sunrise for the first time ever, hoping this will be the start of a new beginning. Lately I've been feeling really lonely and disconnected. It's hard to explain, but it's like I've been out of sync with everything people, myself, and the world around me. But I want that to change. I want to stop feeling like I'm waiting for things and instead start living in these small moments, like this one. There's so much beauty in just being present. Until this happens, wait for it. I actually thought this ran over my towel and camera and everything which is why I react the way I do. And then casually turn around when I realize. Good morning, guys. This camera is so good in low lighting. It looks like brighter out than it is. So this is the first, okay. These things you might've just saw, they keep passing. They're ginormous. But those things are so annoying, <laughs> killing my vibe. I'm living a vibe right now, and those things are killing it. Woke up at before six today. I was just talking to my aunt. She said it's a good time to look at the sunset, the sunrise, because it doesn't rise that early during this time of the year. Like it's about to be seven, maybe it is seven. Look how cool you could see the rain from here. that and that is rain in the distance. I really hope it doesn't rain. I'm really mad at myself because I forgot to bring my earphones. I'm gonna just chill out, watch the sunrise, listen to my book I'm listening to to get me in the mood. I'm definitely not in a witchy setting, I guess, but I'm listening to Hocus Pocus 2. I'm inspired to write, I mean, not write, well, that too, but I'm inspired to make a whole video about how they can make Hocus Pocus 3. I don't want to say better than the first one. It's a working title, but better than the second. Not that I'm a full-on hater of the second, I guess. But yeah, I'm just gonna chill out, listen to the book, watch the sunrise. Yeah, vibe out. Also, as you saw before, I put my feet in the water and it's actually really warm, which is so cool. I'm pretty sure this time of the year when it's the warmest because all summer it's been warming up really nice. And I just also realized this, today is the first day of fall and it's kind of cool like this is what I'm doing. I've been really in this era of wanting to romanticize life and Honestly, booktube and the aesthetic vlogs, I'm extremely into and inspired. <gasps> There's a fish! Oh my god, the fish brushed to shore and it was flopping, but it made its way back down into the water. Oh, RIP to all the fish that don't make it back. Stop. Why do I always get morbid? But yeah, definitely in my romanticizing life era. I hope you guys are excited for this type of content because it's definitely what's feeding my soul right now. I want to start living fully in the present, starting with moments like this watching the sunrise and letting it be a symbol for a new chapter in my life.
I'm so excited to be vlogging again to connect with you all through my new booktube and author tube journey. It's not just about sharing my love for books, audiobooks, storytelling, but about sharing my life, my growth, and hopefully building those connections I've been missing. Together we can explore new worlds, laugh, cry, and connect on a deeper level. So let's embark on this journey together. Thank you for joining me. Okay, bitches, let's turn this shit the fuck up. Get in, losers, we're going fall shopping. I just got this beautiful Lincoln hand-me-down for my mother. So excited. She upgraded to an Escalade Lookout, baby. Here I am approaching on this basic autumn day at Bath & Body Works. You best believe they got a sale going or I wouldn't buy a single item in this place. Although I really, truly do love the vibes here. Coming here is true coziness to me. No matter what season, because you could romanticize each season here. Do you know what I mean? Really picking on everything, but especially the hand soap. I say right here, it smells like baby shampoo. Oh. Um. What to buy? Mm. She loves the airtime, that lady. You better believe I have a code. Cozy trip successful next up, Cold Stone. But I'm on a diet, so I'm going with a smoothie today. First smoothie here. This girl was a true joy, and by true joy, I'm completely lying. Thank you, bitch. Daniel doing a great job filming here. All right, then I'm off to a little, okay, babe, slay. Okay, here I just picked up a couple things. Um, I really wanted to go hard, but I already spent all my money in Bath and Body Works. But this is the moment of the vlog right now. Meet Nellie Ween. Nellie Ween. She thinks she got a toy, but... Alright, I'm gonna put on the screen the things that I got because I was gonna do like a sit down and go through everything, but it's not that serious. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I'll be back very soon. Have a basic, cozy autumn fall. The perfect autumn. It's Billy Bitch.